What's up, everybody? David, aka That Beard Guy, Kansas City here. It's been a little while, right? But worth the wait. So this review is on a company that I'm pretty sure everybody's heard of. This is Detroit Grooming Company. Time to go beast mode. Detroit Grooming Company is obviously a company right out of Northern California. Just kidding. DGC is exactly where they say they are, right in the heart of the 313 in Detroit, Michigan. We got a couple oils, we got a couple butters and a wash to talk about, so let's get straight into it. DGC uses the same carrier blend in both of the oils I'm going to talk about, and the butters have the carrier blend plus the couple extra ingredients I'm gonna talk about, so I'm not gonna rifle back through the ingredients on everything. These are DGC's beard oil bottles. Nice, classic, square, black and white label. Screw off top, be careful, don't screw them off too fast, because that is wide open, no restrictor, no nothing, straight into your hand. Which I've actually come to be a fan of. I wasn't at first, I'm not gonna lie, but once I got used to it and how much beard oil I needed in my beard, it kind of beats doing this. So that's a plus for me. This is Sturgis. This is leather, amber, cardamom, and bergamot. So bergamot for me has always been a kind of a floral, almost citrus scent. It's got some different type of notes to it. But this one, it really takes the back seat. The leather and the amber really come through in the front side for me, and it's excellent. I know the cardamom does something in there. I just don't quite know what. But when they all come together, it is a scent that I thoroughly thoroughly enjoy. If you don't like the smell of leather, I wouldn't get this one. You can smell the leather up front, but it doesn't smell like a pair of cowboy boots. That is nice. So ingredient wise, we've got sweet almond oil, vitamin E, sunflower oil, safflower oil, rice bran oil, apricot oil, avocado oil, wheat germ oil, and then your essential oils or fragrance oils for the scent. Nothing too out of the ordinary, right? DGC's oil is right at the medium, not quite heavy. I've seen a lot heavier. It doesn't have anything like a castor oil in it, so it's not gonna be super heavy. However, it does work great in your beard, and you guys that know me know I'm a fan of thick oils. I like castor oil. I like everything you can think of that makes the thickest consistency possible and i love this oil even my gray beard with no castor oil in it it feels great scent duration is about five and a half hours not all day and all night not something you wear to bed one day and then the next day you're trying to wash it out with pine tar soap it fades really nicely these are one ounce bottles and that's all i have to say about that next up is woodward Woodward is such a good, good scent. This is vanilla, mahogany, and teak wood. Mahogany and teak wood are already two of my faves, and vanilla is a scent that I'm warming up to. I really started enjoying it when I got this oil. I started wearing it around the house. My wife likes it. I wore it at work. The people at work like it, and I just slowly became a fan of vanilla. This is not the overpowering vanilla. When you think of like a Scentsy or a candle, or anything you have in a house, you walk in and it's just like, oh God, if there's any more vanilla anywhere, I'm going to freak out. It's not that. It's nice and light. I enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. So something about DGC that I'm not sure if everybody knows, they were the first to bring out what we know now as beard butter. Prior to that, it was just oils, balms, and whatever somebody made at home. So big round of applause for DGC for bringing beard butter to the beard game. This is what the DGC butter containers look like. This is a two ounce. They do make a larger version. To so look at the inside of that, oh, beautiful. This is the black scent. This is amber and bourbon, and it is epic. I actually like to wear this with the Woodward oil. It just has that combination. Now they have the 313 that's got like the, the roasted vanilla, so I'm gonna try that one out with Woodward because I think it's gonna be awesome. But black beard butter is excellent. They did a great job when they formulated this. When you first get it, I say when, not if. When you first get it, you're gonna think, ah, oh, that looks like a little bit of a different butter than I'm used to. Give it a shot. You're not gonna regret it. Just remember with this, a little bit goes a long way. So the difference. All the carrier blend that I talked about in the oils, 
plus a couple other things. Wheat germ oil, beeswax, unrefined shea butter, and coconut oil. So just a couple of things to the top. Obviously, just stuff that's all great for your beard anyway. That's so good. I love it. This beard here is Corktown. Corktown, I really like the label because it's got this, I don't know how well you guys can see it. It's got like this green metallic stripe through it that really just looks great. It just catches your eye. I don't know. I like it. Corktown is vanilla, tobacco, and cedar wood. I know you guys have smelled vanilla cedar wood before, um, maybe a tobacco cedar wood before, but this is a different type. This one is more of a I don't want to call it a pipe tobacco, but it almost takes a pipe tobacco scent because of the vanilla in it. This one reminds me of going to my grandpa's house when I was a kid. He smoked one of those old school pipes. He would bust open the bag of tobacco, and this is the scent that I remember it being. So it's I get to reminisce a little bit when I wear it, but I'm a huge fan of this. This is just such a good, solid, if you like tobacco scent. If you don't like tobacco, you're not going to love this one. The vanilla is not going to cover it up. The tobacco comes through really well, and it's really, really rich. I happen to like tobacco, so I think this is one of the best things since sliced bread. Just great looking, isn't it? Just looks so good. Last, but definitely not least, is this right here. This is DGC's Beard Wash. As you can tell, black bottle, which is super sleek and super cool, that shiny blue ring around it just it draws you right in. I cannot say enough good things about this. This is an all natural wash. I don't think it's extremely abrasive and stripping on my beard, but your beard could be different. I use it as a great everyday wash when I'm washing my beard every day. With everything that's going on right now, if I get out in the public and I get home, I'm washing my beard. So this has become a staple and a go-to. This is the Bergamot and Lavender scent. I have been on the website and looked and it looks like he's got some other stuff going now, but get over there and get yourself some of this beard wash. You're going to love it. This is normally the part of the review where I let you guys know whether I recommend this company to you or not. I think it goes without saying that I give a big, huge thumbs up to DGC. Mike, all the hard work you and your team have done have paid off tremendously, and I personally want to thank you for it. I almost forgot, if this is your first time into the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a repeat viewer, thanks for coming back. If you enjoyed the content and you haven't already, think about subscribing. Give the thumbs up if you love it, thumbs down if you hate it. Either way, leave a comment. I love interacting with you guys. And if you do decide to subscribe, which would help the channel tremendously, make sure you hit the bell so you get notified whenever I bring out new content. We've come to the end of another one, fellas. So until I see you guys again, be awesome to each other.